commissions are gone. That's right, consumers no longer pay a real estate commission in Greater Seattle. Now, is this for real? Well, yes and no. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about recent changes to how real estate agents and brokers are paid. Let's get into it. Effective October 3rd of this year, just two months ago, our local MLS called the Northwest Multiple Listing Service eliminated the word commission from its forms and has since replaced it with the word compensation. Now, before you think this is just some silly play on words or some semantics game, it's important to understand the implications of this change and why it came about. This all started in the wake of several lawsuits, even class action lawsuits, receiving national attention. Some of them have spanned years, which ultimately scrutinized the payment methodology for real estate professionals. One case brought in March of 2019 by home seller Christopher Morrell against the National Association of Realtors and brokerages Realogy, Home Services of America, Remax, and Keller Williams. Other home sellers joined Morrell as plaintiffs to create a federal antitrust class action case. The suit alleges that some National Association of Realtors policies violate the Sherman Antitrust Act by inflating sellers' costs. Namely, the plaintiffs argue that it's unfair that a seller must provide a buyer's broker with a commission in order to list a property on the multiple listing service. In other words, why should a seller pay a fee to the buyer's agent when the buyer's agent is negotiating and working against the seller? Another case in Missouri known as Sitzer Burnett seeks to have home buyers pay their hired broker directly rather than the seller pay the listing broker, who then splits the commission with the buyer's broker. Many countries in Europe have a system where buyers pay their agent directly and sellers pay their agent directly. Lawsuits are never fun, but there is a silver lining here. Our MLS has responded with a proactive approach by being amongst the first MLSs to make a few key changes that create more transparency and flexibility for consumers. I'll include the specific changes our MLS made in just a moment. But first, if you like this type of content and want to stay in the know regarding the greater Seattle real estate market, please consider tapping the like and subscribe buttons. And please reach out with your personal real estate needs as we'd love to help. The following bullet points came directly from the Northwest Multiple Listing Service, which you can read below. Here's the bottom line. While it's easy to think that the word commission has simply been replaced with the word compensation, it goes deeper than that. The new language found in our MLS forms provide a more open, transparent, and competitive marketplace for both real estate brokers and consumers. The money, call it compensation, commission, fee, etc., is what incentivizes the agents to help facilitate a transaction and make a deal happen. Like so many things involving money, you need to be careful, and buyers and sellers in a real estate transaction need to be informed. They should know what options they have and what exactly they are paying for. That's why it's important to have a candid and transparent conversation with your agent. Many realtors are not worth their fee. Others are. Now, personally, I welcome the conversation about my fee structure and compensation because it gives me the opportunity to explain what unique services, skills, and experience I bring to the table that differentiate me from the competition. Ultimately, the marketplace will determine what each buyer's agent is worth and what each seller's agent is worth. Now I'd like to hear your thoughts. What do you think about how real estate agents and brokers are compensated? How should real estate professionals be paid? Please comment below. See you in the next video.